In this video, I'm gonna talk about what certifications that you need in order to get started as an independent property claims adjuster, starting now. This is Adjuster TV, Adjusters First. Adjuster TV is brought to you by Adjuster TV Plus. Hey, Matt here with Adjuster TV, and in this video, I really wanna talk about, give you a good, solid answer to the question of, well, what certifications should I get, right? There's a lot of certifications out there. Um, not all of them have, all. I would say this, all of them arguably have some value, right? But where we, what we wanna do, especially if we're gonna transition into, into independent adjusting and the property side, uh, what we wanna do is we wanna prioritize the things that are gonna move the needle the most for us, right? Especially right out of the gate, right? So a drone certification, I don't think, I mean, it has uses, right? And I talk about drones on this channel. I'm not a huge fan of drones um, I, for a number of reasons and you can watch those videos. Uh, but for the, the amount of money that it costs, all right, and if you wanna get a good high quality drone that has a 45 minute flight time, it's over $2,000 just for the, the equipment, then getting a training for it costs money, right? For, to get like calibrated into like how to use the drone as, as a claims adjuster, and then getting your part 107, which is a license and so on and so forth, right? It's expensive for, and it, but but I think it's only useful really in edge cases, right? So it's, it's, it's not really, it's not something that I would prioritize as a new adjuster as something that like, yeah, well, first thing I gotta do is get my drone license, right? Um, I would say same thing goes for rope and harness. Um, however, that's not gonna be something that's gonna like get you work necessarily. I will tell you to get a rope and harness certified to learn rope and harness um, and get good at it, right? Practice it because it's very, 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 very important that you practice this stuff. Because if you don't, and I say this all the time in these videos, if you don't know the knot, you, you'll, you'll die. You, could, you can be severely injured, get your neck broken, break both your legs, end up in a wheelchair, so on and so forth, right? It's because it's, it's fall protection. And if you don't do the knot right, it'll come undone, right? And Oh, where you go, and then all that gear is worth nothing. Um, I would say, from a personal safety standpoint, to get rope and harness certified, right? But it's not going to get you work necessarily. Other things that I think are a much, much greater value to the industry that will uh, absolutely uh, look good on a resume and will translate into good skills for you and will translate into um, a, a hiring manager taking a look at your resume and saying, Oh, well, he's got this. You know, we need somebody that's that's can do this or that or the other thing, right? And one of those, of course, is um, the fast track to deployment certification, which is designed to teach you the entire claims process from start to finish, including scheduling, including doing physical inspections on buildings, scoping, writing scope a scope of damage, writing the estimate. Uh, how to put together a photo report, which is a lot more important than you might think if you've never done this before, and then documenting your file, um, and as well as Xactimate training, right? So that, that program right there hits all the, the, ma the main pieces that the independent adjusting firms are after. They honor it, they value it, and they will put priority on somebody who has that certification over somebody who does not have that certification, right? Another one I would say, um, a pretty good one to get right out of the gate would be the Hague Certified Inspector. Um, there is a requirement on that one though, where you have to have, uh, you have to sign a statement saying that you've looked at or inspected or walked on at least 100 roofs. Um, and really, I think in any capacity, I could, there could be a, a, a some fine print there that I, I don't, I'm not aware of, but as far as I know, it's been on roofs doing some kind of inspection, whether it's roof sales or you're doing, you know, photo and scope or whatever, where you've walked on, on these roofs, right? That's a requirement, a prerequisite to get the, um, Hague Certified Inspector Certification. Um, but I think that's a really, really good one to get because there's a lot of damage identification there. There's a lot of, well, I'm standing on a roof and I'm looking at it. Is that damage or is it just wear and tear, right? And that's a, that's a huge thing, right? The minimum part of that is that it just takes a long time to stand there and be like, I don't know, right? Is it really damaged or not? Well, and then you gotta look at the collateral damage. Is the collateral damage big enough? Does it justify, you know, could I could I imagine that the hail knocks some pieces off of this, right? That that particular certification helps you with that piece. And I think that that's, as a, as a, a new adjuster, you know, the, the, the widest gate to come into this industry is gonna be through cap property. And the biggest thing that you're probably gonna do is gonna be uh, cat, like uh, hail, right? So hail deployments. Um, so Hague Certified Inspector, Fast Track to Deployment, I think those are two two really good ones. And everything else below that is kind of like diminishes in, in like 
priority because of what you get out of it versus what it can do for you, if that makes sense. If you want to watch the rest of this episode where I answer other questions ad-free, as well as get access to a members only segment question and answer, head on over to adjustertvplus.com and become a member right now.